Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back, Mark here. Today we're going to be doing a quick review on the Order Master 2S2. I kind of got this through a sponsorship deal, I will explain later on in the video. But yeah, we'll go in, we'll go through the build of it, we'll test engraving on different materials, and at the end of the video I'll let you know how you can actually win this, because I will be giving this away. So stick around and let's get into it. Right then guys, so let's get into the build of this. We got everything out of the box. This is as it comes. So you've got the motherboard and controller, the gantry itself. So that's all connected, all the wires there. You don't got to do anything with that. The extruded aluminium, and this is all for obviously the sides of the frame and everything. The laser itself, the bottom of the laser, two belts. You get some glasses. I won't be using that, I'll be using my own. And you've got some pieces of wood to test on. And you've also got some acrylic there but i think this is more for focusing more than cutting because it's transparent orange and i don't think these can actually cut through transparent acrylic uh you've got a couple of bolts washers we've also got a limit switch here it's got a limit switch that you have to install yourself and there is one on the board there so you've got one on the x and the y and you've got the legs for it here as well and there's a little screw because you can adjust the height of the actual laser itself. And yeah, that is everything. So with this auto, uh, was it the Auto Laser Master 2 S2? So it's got an engraving area 390 by 410 millimeters, according to the website. It can run on light burn as well, so the motherboard does support light burn. Yeah, lots of different lasers for this as well. So the one I've been sent is the Short Focus 5 Watt uh, diode. But you can get different ones. You can get a long focus one. You can get more powerful ones. There's lots of different things you can do with it. They're all compatible with this as well. So let's build this now. It's quite big. I'm not sure if I can uh, <laughs> fit it all on my bench. These sides first. So on this you'll see it's notched out a little bit there. That's so when you put these together. They just sit in there nice and comfortably. And you get these long and short screws as well. So these hold together both the frame and the legs so for the four corners it's the long ones so there's holes there where it goes through and obviously that just screws into the end in there so let's do that now And there we go, these two holes here, this is where the motherboard screws into, that is the front. So that in there, that in there. Spot on, and this then I'll just get fixed to the front there. So first, before we do that, we're going to do the belts. Because the belts are where the belts go, it goes down here under the actual gantry wheel over the the gear back under and then it gets held in place so these the feet have got these little notches out there that keeps the tension on it then as well for this as well you do want the so the teeth on the actual belt to be facing down i'm just going to feed it over the gear and under the under the wheel so for the feet as well you want to make sure you put these on the right way so it'll need to go that way so the belt can go through that little gap there. And it'll go long screw on the inside. Before you put the short screw on, mind, you need to put use one of the washers to go over the top because the washer is actually what holds the belt in place. On this side it's a little bit different because we do need to install the end stop there but first of all before we do that it comes with one of these little pieces so that needs to be sent into there and then before we can put the end stop on we're going to want to put the actual motherboard on Uh, 
as I said at the beginning, this is kind of a sponsorship video where a company from China emailed me asking me to review one of their items. I was like, yeah, sounds great. What would you like me to review? And they just sent me a link for the most random stuff. It was like hair removers, uh, hair dryers, earphones, cheap little hand control helicopters, things like that. And I was like, I, I don't understand what you want me to do. Have you like looked at my channel? Do you know what I do? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we think it'll fit great with you. And uh, I was like, all right, still seems a bit dodgy. And um, but as I was going through the a page they sent me, I actually found a suggested link for this machine. So with this with this company as well, mind when they contacted me, they said, you purchase one of our items, you review it. And uh, we'll refund you once you've reviewed it. I was like, ah, that sounds a bit dodgy if you ask me. But like I said, I, you know, I was like, what, what do you want me to review, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, yeah, there was, there was lots of red flags. But as I was going through their page, all the stuff they wanted me to, uh, to look at, there was a suggested link for this machine. And I thought, you know what? Since YouTube are kind of paying me money now to actually make videos, the only reason they're paying me to do it is because you guys are obviously watching my videos. So I thought, I'll get one of these machines, build it, see how it goes, and um, I'll just give it to one of you. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening. Now, last bit is just installing the actual laser module itself. Very, very simple to do. Is see these little uh, notches there? It's the same on here, and it just sits in there. And then you can raise or lower it however big you need to. And then you've got this little set screw which goes in the side. And quite high, and um, but there, there we go. So if you want to lower it, loosen it down. Easy as. So you've got the cable here that just plugs into there. And then you've got this grounding wire here. Just tighten that up. I'm going to loosen this back right screw. Just enough so I can get this grounding wire underneath. And tighten that up. Okay, sorted. Now all we just need to do is connect the power and connect it to the computer so it's just a USB cable I don't think it came with a USB cable it didn't come with a USB cable so you'll have to provide your own great uh, right so USB cable into the USB port power supply into the 24 volts plug now all I need to do is just press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds and it should home, hit the limit switch and then stop, hopefully. Perfect guys, so we put that together, that wasn't too hard. Right guys, so now we've got everything connected up now, I'm going to open up the software. I am using Laser GRBL, but it is also compatible with uh, Lightburn as well. Uh, hopefully now if I home it with the software. That is going to hold. I will set the focus on this first of all though. So set the focus, you've got this little bit of acrylic here. You just sit it directly underneath the laser. And... 
on on top of your material just sip that there remove that and that should be perfectly focused right so we've got the software and everything set up now ready to go uh but i haven't messed around with the settings or anything it's all just default all i'm going to do is change the speed to 3500 millimeters a minute and we're going to engrave and it's going to engrave at about 28 percent power Okay, right, so my first attempt there, let me just move that out of the way. I don't even know if you can see that. Which is there. It does help in the software. I didn't actually select my laser module. Now I've selected the right one, so we should get a better ingress. I'm going to run it now, and hopefully it doesn't get too smoky. I put it slightly out of focus I think that will work better I'll give it a go so I'm gonna run the same file again and we're just gonna see if those scan lines become any better definitely better a lot better that's out of focus but I'm gonna run the same cut on a coaster with some clear lacquer on it as well so I'll run that again and see how this works that has worked amazing guys look at that how good does that look that's comparable to um, some coasters I've done with the CO2 laser. That is so good. Right, guys, so after running a few different tests with this, so on the slate and the wood, as you've seen, I think it's a really good machine. Obviously, it's not going to be as powerful as a CO2 machine. I mean, my CO2, that's a 40-watt laser. This is a 5-watt. And uh, so, yeah, massive difference in power. But, yeah, the engraving on it is so good. I did this off-camera. So that one there uh, was engraved with this. And yeah, portraits turned out absolutely fine. As I haven't got light burn, so with light burn, I know there's a lot more different options you can use and get a lot better, you know, stuff with it. But I'm not gonna pay 40 quid for it just, be, just to give this away and not be able to use it. But yeah, overall guys, I'd give this machine a thumbs up with the Little use I've done out of it now, I do think it's a fantastic little machine. I don't, because I'm going to be giving this away, I don't want to, you know, overuse the machine too much. Just in case, you know, I shorten the life on the uh, on the laser itself too much. If you want to get your foot into the door of, you know, using lasers, I don't see a problem with using this, to be honest with you. The engraving on it, it's so much, the engraving is so much darker than on my CO2. I don't understand that. Engraving area on this as well is so much bigger than my, uh, my CO2. So my CO2 can obviously engrave on A4. I next to do one, two, three. Probably, it, it probably works out about four times the size I can engrave with this. If you haven't seen my mirror video, I'll put a link for it there. So these are the mirrors I used. But this is too big. If I put that up against this, it's too big for my CO2 laser to engrave the whole area. So I have to cut them down. But with this machine, I wouldn't have a problem with it, Nally. I could do two, three, I could probably do four of them at a time. Uh, stepping what was everything runs as smooth as you'd want them to. I didn't have any problems, no jumping or nothing at all. Like I said, the software side of things, I didn't try light burn. But you'd be able to get better results out of that, definitely. So yeah, would I buy one of these myself? I definitely would, guys. I honestly 100% would for the price of it as well. It wasn't too bad. Luckily, the ad revenue from YouTube is going to cover that. So, you know, I'm not going to be out of pocket there. I'm going to miss the beast the hell out of my YouTube money anyway. So every time I've got enough to buy something new, I'll buy it, test it, and I'll give it away every time. 
So if you don't win this one this time around, I'll be doing another one the next time I earn enough revenue on that. Anyway, let's get into how you can win this. Very simple. As I mentioned, all you've got to do is just be subscribed to the channel. But throughout the video, I'm going to put my logo somewhere on the screen a couple of times, you know, a few times in the video. All you need to do is just watch the video, mark down how many times you see the logo, and uh, just put it down in the comment section. So if you see it three times, just put, you know, three. See a six, put down six. And uh, let me know. Remember, there's one in my intro, and the one in the bottom corner of the video, where it just puts your channel logo there. I won't include that, don't worry about that. So, um, yeah, just watch the video. See how many times you've seen it. It's not going to be a ridiculous amount, and they're going to be very really easy to see as well. So just put the comments, you know, one, five, six, whatever. In February, so beginning of February, I think I'll announce the winner. What I'll do, there's a website you can use where it'll just pick a random comment from a YouTube video with, you know, um, a, a specific word or letter or a number. Um, so I'll do that, and whoever just randomly selects, watch the if you've so watched the video, just on my About Me tab on the, my YouTube channel, there's an email address, just email me to let me know to you. But anyway, I'm going to unpack all this, and I'll put everything back in the box. So yeah, guys, here we go. That's it then. I do hope you enjoyed it, and my fingers crossed for every single one of you. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Ta-da.